It was the launch of India's first indigenous sounding rocket, Rohini 75, on November 20, 1967, that marked a new beginning for the Indian space industry. There has been no looking back for the Indian space sector since then. Space exploration is a complex and expensive attempt, with governments and private companies around the world spending billions of dollars each year to explore the universe. But how much does it really cost to launch a rocket into space? And how does the cost of space exploration be compared between different countries? Let's start by looking at the cost of space exploration in India. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO is the primary space agency of the Indian government responsible for launching satellites and conducting space missions. It has a long history of successful missions, including the Mars Orbiter mission and the Chandrayaan missions. We have Mars mission. We have been successful in and in the world, it is the first country in the world that in the first trial has been successful in the first trial. In comparison, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration or NASA is the primary space agency of the United States with a much larger budget and more resources at its disposal. The budget of ISRO has steadily increased over the past decade but remains significantly lower than that of NASA. In 2020, the budget of ISRO was around $1.9 billion, while the budget of NASA was over $23 billion. Despite its smaller budget, ISRO has made significant progress in space exploration, including successfully launching a record-breaking 104 satellites into space on a single rocket in 2017. In comparison, NASA has a much more extensive space exploration program with a focus on sending astronauts to the International Space Station, exploring Mars and studying the solar system. But how can the cost of specific space missions be compared between the two agencies? For example, the cost of NASA's recent Mars rover mission was around $2.7 billion. How does this compare to similar missions conducted by ISRO? ISRO has been able to conduct many of its space missions at a relatively lower cost as compared to other countries. It has placed a strong emphasis on self-reliance and has tried to reduce dependence on foreign technology. This has led to the development of indigenous capabilities in areas such as launch vehicles, satellite technology and ground infrastructure. For example, in 2014, ISRO successfully sent a spacecraft to Mars for a cost of only $74 million, compared to the $671 million that NASA spent on a similar mission in 2013. ISRO has also had success in sending missions to the Moon, including its recent Chandrayaan-2 mission, which cost around $140 million. In comparison, NASA's Apollo program, which sent astronauts to the moon in the 1960s and 1970s, costed an estimated $153 billion. While ISRO has a much smaller budget than NASA, it has achieved significant success in space exploration at a much lower cost. This is due to the agency's focus on low-cost technology, and its mission to make space exploration more accessible to developing countries. Overall, ISRO has been able to achieve a lot with limited resources. Its focus on self-reliance, low-cost missions and practical applications of space technology have made it a unique player in the field of space exploration. As space exploration continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how the cost of space missions and the strategies of different space agencies continue to compare.